Jeff from Airstream Nerds here. Just starting the process of replacing the um, electric and the cable TV satellite um, covers with um, some new stainless steel models. So I'm starting with the stainless steel by the TV inlet by Ferrian. Um, I'll put the links below. I don't remember where I bought it, um, but I'm going to start by removing that one. Take the four screws out. Should come right out. You have the gasket and you have the two cables that are going inside the, the camper. This little cover plate is screwed on on the back here. And I believe the new one only has a single cover. It's got a whole back box in the works here. Get these stupid. So you have your replacement gasket. You got clamps for the wires in the back. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to replace the single with this double. All right. So loosen these three little screws. cover goes out. I'm going to keep the old cover. So, you can put this back panel on. I don't even know if it will actually fit. Oh yeah, there's plenty of room back there. So I have to get a wrench to loosen these up. Then I can slide them through this, loosen this up, slide them through there so I can put the back box in there and then push this whole unit in, be good to go. Be right back. So the standard cable, cable TV, um, F connectors. So that means it's a 7 16 inch wrench. They are labeled by the factory. One says satellite. The other one, I guess should say TV. It's full of, yeah, it does say cable TV, so that's nice. This is the factory labeled them. Oh, this one, it's a little tight. Be careful when you loosen them that you don't spin them on there. They're just cheap plastic. And that nut, like it did there, it spun a little bit, which makes it harder to connect the next one. So I'm going to Take the screws out of the new one to remove this plate. Then remove the the new plate. Going to keep the gasket though. Make sure the gasket gets put back on there. 
there's there's a notch on the new one that's not on this one but the holes line up so this is the way that it's going to go on there So when this whole thing is put together, that notch keeps these things lined up. So you're going to have to manually cut a notch in that plastic so that so that so this double port thing can fit in the back of this one. Anyway, I'll be right back. So this is pretty soft plastic. So just use a little utility knife, cut you a notch, test fit it to make sure that your notch works where the little little cutout is right there and that your screw holes line up. Once you got that, don't cut it too deep so there's not a gap. Put your gasket back in place, make sure you get it the right way, the screws aren't aren't equal. Put your piece of plastic in, making sure that obviously the labels are facing the right way. Keep in mind that the cable is going to be closest to the hinge here. So when you connect these back up, it works. Get your screws. Line them back up. So now if you open it, there's another gasket and the plastic piece that these screw into on the other side. You need to make sure that you put them back in the right spot as well. Do not over tighten. See the plastic piece, there's a gasket under here. So make sure that you're all lined up. Again, do not tighten. Over tighten it, it's plastic into plastic. So just, you just wanna be snug. So you have this, everything's in there, seated good. Now, you could, because you're gonna be finagling it around, you could do yourself a favor and just write a C and an S on here. That way, as you move it around and everything, you go, you don't have to worry about which way it went. So we have this, and we still have this back box thing which all it really is it doesn't it doesn't really serve any purpose considering that it, do, it doesn't hold water out um, it doesn't it's not required the old one didn't have it they probably took it off so I'm not even gonna install it I'm gonna make sure that this nice thick gasket that they give you is back on it make sure that you screw these back on in the right place make sure the pin gets in the center you don't really need to to tighten these with a torque wrench just make sure that they're snug again the other side is spinning so that one is as tight as it, it's going to get make sure the center pin hits the yeah I haven't done it yet but I noticed it's probably going to happen to somebody don't forget to put your gasket on first <clears throat> otherwise you will not be able you'll have to take these back off see both of these spin when you try to tighten them so It goes in the same way it came out. You have your, they give you new screws, but there's no reason not to use the original ones. I like to put them at least get them stuck into the gasket material. Kind of keeps them all lined up. So you don't 
end up dropping them. And you know your gasket is lined up. Now you take them off with the screw gun and you can put them on with the screw gun. But I would make sure that they are started by hand so you don't screw up the existing holes. Make sure that you're lining them up with the existing holes. If you're gonna use your screw gun, which it's not such a bad idea. If you have a torque on it, torque it all the way down and go at a slow speed. I wouldn't do them all at once. I'd rotate them around. Just so you don't end up pulling that one down and then this one's out and putting stress on the hole. So all you're doing is you're screwing it into the skin of the, the airstream. So get it in there to where they're down. Use your hand screw so you can feel when they're tight. You can feel when they snug up. Get them all snug up. That termed us a little bit more than snug, which puts pressure on that gasket, keeping it watertight. Kind of like doing a lug nuts on a car. Just do a little bit, going around in a circle. You can go across if you want. So you want to be careful, don't strip the screws. It's all, it's all torqued down now. Open it up, sit upside. You have your cable in your set, just like it was before, with a nice locking cap. Oh, there's plastic on the outside. Clean your fingerprints off of it, and you're good to go.